Uh, this has been a very enriching panel, and before I totally wrap it up, I just want to appreciate the panelists, uh, those who had an opportunity to speak, and all those who were able to make submissions. I think from the conversation, I think it's pretty much clear that uh, the rights-based approach is not just an aspiration, a concept which we pay lip service. Uh, it is, has specific content, including uh, recognizing and fulfilling uh, rights of people through laws and policies that our governments are obligated to put into place. We must ensure that people get their right to life because we are told we have 4,500 and people dying daily. We must ensure that people get the right to the highest attainable standard of health. We are talking about people who have to take medicines that make them become deaf. This should not happen. We are talking about stigma and discrimination and we are not mentioning the right to privacy and confidentiality, which is very critical and fundamental to addressing the issues of stigma and discrimination. We are not talking about informed consent. We are not talking about access to information and giving people quality information so that they can make decisions that would ensure that they adhere to their treatment and we need to talk about the importance of scientific research and investing in that to be able to get newer and better drugs because I know no one in this room would want to be subjected to medicine that puts you at a risk of getting deaf. I don't think anyone would want that to happen to them. And so the rights-based approach is calling upon us, whether government, whether civil society, whether healthcare worker, to embrace certain principles. The principle of participation, the principle of accountability, the principle of non-discrimination, you want to empower communities so that they can come up with sustainable responses towards ending issues around TB. So it is important and it is imperative that the draft declaration that is out speaks specifically to this issue and most importantly, the issue of access to medicine, which is currently not recognized in the draft, is something that needs to be included in the draft and a solution provided for it. Thank you for listening, thank you for your contributions, and see you in September with your heads of state when we come back with more demands of civil society to ensure we have a strong and powerful political declaration that will drive us towards ending TB by 2030 in line with our sustainable development goals. Thank you. <laughs>